hi everyone let us solve for the value of x first you need to note that a to the power of m plus n okay sorry about that that a to the power of m plus n is equal to a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n all right this is a so we can now write this as 4 to the power of x plus 25 to the power of x is equal to 10 to the power of x multiplied by 10 to the power of 1. Now let's divide both sides of this equation by 10 to the power of x. That way I'm bringing anything that has x to one side of the equation. So we have 4 to the power of x divided by 10 to the power of x plus 25 to the power of x divided by 10 to the power of x is equal to 10 to the power of x multiplied by 10 to the power of 1 divided by 10 to the power of x. Now, when you have a to the power of m divided by b to the power of m, this is equal to a divided by b raised to the power of m. Therefore, we can write this as 4 divided by 10 raised to the power of x plus 25 divided by 10 raised to the power of x is equal to this we divide itself and we have 10 to the power of 1 which is 10 all right now let's reduce this to its lowest term 4 is same thing as 2 multiplied by 2 and 10 is same thing as 2 multiplied by 5 all right now plus this is same thing as 5 multiplied by 5 and 10 is same thing as 5 multiplied by 2 is equal to 10 all right and 2 we divide 2, we have 2 over 5 raised to the power of x plus 5 we cancel 5, we have 5 over 2 raised to the power of x is equal to 10. Now, <clears throat> looking at this, we have 2 over 5 raised to the power of x plus. Now, if we introduce 1 over here, we take the reciprocal of this. So, we now have 2 over 5 as well raised to the power of x, right? is equal to 10 sorry <clears throat> raise the power of x yeah now when you look at this notice that we have 2 over 5 to the power of x here yeah? 2 over 5 to the power of x as well so we can say let 2 over 5 raise to the power of x be equal to y so if we say that that means we are going to have y plus then here will be 1 over y is equal to 10. Now to clear the fraction, we are going to multiply through by y. So we have y brackets, y plus 1 over y is equal to 10 multiplied by y as well. Now y times y will give us y squared. 1 over y times y will give us 1 is equal to 10 times y will give us 10y. Okay, so notice that <clears throat> we just found quadratic equation, but we're not actually looking for the value of y, we are looking for the value of x. So I would like you to stay tuned and see how we did that from here, okay? Now, if this is the first time you're coming across this channel, please click on the subscription button, turn on your notification bell, so that you don't miss our amazing videos. We upload our videos daily, yes. So please tune in at your convenience to watch our new uploads. And please give us a thumbs up if you're actually enjoying the video. So let's bring this to this side. If we do that, we have y squared plus 1. Now plus y, 10y becomes minus 10y is equal to 0. <coughs> Excuse me. Now we have y squared minus 10y plus 1 is equal to 0. So it's time to use the quadratic equation formula to get the value of y from where we are going to exactly get the value of our x, okay? So if we do that, the quadratic equation formula states that y is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac, everything divided by 2a, all right? Now in this case, our a is the coefficient of y squared, which is 1, our b is coefficient of y, which is minus 10, and our c is 1, which is our constant. So if we should substitute these values into this, we are going to have that y is equal to minus minus 10 plus or minus square root of minus 10 squared minus 4ac, 4 multiplied by 1. Now we have that 
four times our our a is one and our c is one as well okay everything divided by two multiplied by a which is one as well so our y is minus minus is plus so we have 10 plus or minus square root of minus 10 squared will give us 100 minus 4 times 4 times 1 is 4 everything divided by 2 okay so we can say that y is equal to 10 plus or minus square root of 96 divided by 2 now square root of 96 is the same thing as square root of 16 multiplied by 6 but let me show you how to get that all right no matter how big the number is you are going to factorize so we start by dividing with the smallest number possible when 9 is divided by 2 we have 4 4 remainder 1 16 divided by 2 we have 8 we go again by smallest number possible which is 2 4 divided by 2 is 2 divide 18 is 4 divide 8 is 4 so 2 we divide again to give us 12 2 we divide again to give us 6 now 2 we divide to give us 3 and 3 we divide to give us 1 now we bring out our perfect squares when you multiply a number by itself you get a perfect square okay so 2 times 2 we give us 4 2 times 2 again we give us 4 so you notice that we have two perfect squares which we can multiply again to give us one perfect square now 4 times 4 we give us 16 okay so you notice that what we have here is 16 multiplied by these remaining numbers that we cannot group now 2 times 3 is 6 so we got 16 times 6 therefore we can rewrite root 96 as y is equal to 10 plus or minus square root of 16 multiplied by square root of 6 okay everything divided by 2 now y is equal to 10 plus or minus square root of 16 is 4 and we have root 6 divided by 2 okay now let's divide through by these two or first let's factorize what they have in common is 2 10 divided by 2 is 5 plus or minus 4 divided by 2 is 2 root 6 divided by 2 all right now 2 we cancel 2 we can see that y is equal to 5 plus or minus 2 root 6 but we are not looking for y actually we are looking for x so but recall where we said let this place let's two over 5 to the power of x be equal to y okay recall that 2 over 5 to the power of x is equal to y so we cannot substitute that here to get the value of x so we have 2 over 5 to the power of x is equal to 5 plus or minus 2 root 6 now because what we are looking for is actually the power we need to introduce log to both sides of the equation in order to solve it so we introduce log log 2 over 5 to the power of x is equal to log 5 plus or minus 2 root 6 all right now now when you have log a raised to the power of b this is equal to b multiplied by log a all right that means we can write this as x multiplied by log 2 over 5 is equal to log 5 plus or minus 2 root 2 root 2 root 6 sorry okay now to get the value of x we need to divide both sides of this equation by 2 log 2 over 5 so we have x log 2 over 5 divided by log 2 over 5 is equal to log 5 plus or minus 2 root 6 divided by log 2 over 5 all right now log 2 over 5 we cancel log 2 over 5 so we have that x is log 5 plus or minus 2 root 6 divided by log 2 over 5 all right now note that when you have log a divided by log b that this is equal to log a base b okay so that means that we can rewrite x as x is equal to log 5 plus or minus 2 root 6 okay base 2 over 5 so this becomes the value of our x thank you so much for watching bye